Today we will review sixth grade math lesson 10.1. This lesson will, be, will cover representing equations in tables and graphs. Let's review the vocabulary for today, which is independent variables and dependent variables. The independent variable is the variable whose value determines the dependent variable. For example, in the equation y equals 2x, the value of y is dependent on the value of x. Therefore, x is independent and the y is dependent. An equation can be represented in tables and graphs. Likewise, you may be able to use a table or graph to write an equation. If the data are continuous, you can draw a line to connect the dots. If the data is not continuous, simply plot the points. I encourage you to pause this video, complete these problems on your own first, and then go ahead and review with me. So here we go on the first example. Just Notebooks is having a $3 notebook sale. Use a table and graph to represent the cost of one to five notebooks. If we notice here in the table that the number of notebooks is your x values and the cost is your y. So if we look here at the first points, the x value is 1 and the cost in dollars is 3. And that correlates here with my ordered pairs because when we write ordered pairs, we write them as x comma 3. And then we can plot these points knowing that here is the horizontal number line, which is x, and the vertical number line, which is y. And on the horizontal, it is your x-axis, so that is number of notebooks here. So we know that our number of notebooks is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And um, that is reflected in the table. And then my cost in dollars is $3 per notebook. So if I go here and I go over one, one notebook costs $3. So that's your unit rate. Because I know the cost depends on the number of notebooks. If you notice here, we've just plotted the points on my graph. And this is not a straight line because this is not continuous because I cannot buy a half a notebook. So that's why we just plot the points on this graph. So this one is not continuous. All right, let's go ahead and do the next problem. The equation d equals 70t gives the, uh, the distance in miles by a train in t hours. Complete the table to relate the distance traveled in zero to five hours. Now the distance traveled depends on the amount of time traveled. So this is my x values, this is my y values. Again, here is my x values on my graph. The vertical axis is your y values. So because this is d equals 70t, this equation means it is 70 miles per hour. So here's one hour, that's your per. So you know that you're traveling 70 miles per hour. That is your unit rate. Now, if I have zero time, I, it means I've gone zero miles. Now, if I travel two hours, I know then if I take my equation d equals 70t, and time is now two hours, I just multiply, this is multiplication here, 70 times two, which is 140. And then I'd repeat that again, three times 70, which is 210, and four times 70 is 280, and five times 70 is 350. So now we plot the points. I'm looking at my first ordered pair 
and we would call that 170 because the x comes first and it's 70 miles per hour so I go over here this is hour your x is hour and then I plot my point there and then for 2 it's 140 for 3 it's 210 and for 4 it's 280 and for 5 it's 350 and in this example this is continuous because I can drive a half an hour or a quarter of an hour so I don't have a ruler but this is my straight line and a continuous graph here so this is our lesson for module 10 lesson 1 grade 6